Welcome back to the Chad HD Show on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM. KFYO on the phones with us right now. Obviously, one of the big, big pieces of legislation facing the House and Senate, this tax reform legislation. And joining us to talk about uh, the current version or what may pass uh, hopefully pretty soon, uh, from the National Taxpayers Union, uh, Executive Vice President uh, of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold. Uh, Brandon, good morning. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me on the program. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you uh, coming on today. Uh, let, let's talk about the, the tax reform bill as we know it. It could, I, I guess, still change between now and whenever uh, uh Congress decides to vote on the uh, the final final uh, the final piece of it, uh, but as we know the tax reform bill right now, how is it looking for taxpayers across the U.S. and in particular here in Texas? I think the bill looks fantastic. Uh, there's certainly some problems with it, and that's always going to be the case with a piece of legislation of this magnitude. But at its core, what it does is lower rates for all taxpayers on the individual side of the code. It doubles the, the uh, child tax credit up to $2,000 per child. It doubles the standard deduction up to $24,000, meaning you won't pay any income taxes uh, if you're a family all the way up to $24,000 in earning. And then when you do start paying taxes again, you're going to be paying at lower rates. These are all pro-family changes. These are all pro-worker changes that are going to be very good for the economy, nationally speaking, and, and certainly in West Texas as well. You, you've uh, you've heard the the left. Uh, they, they've said that this is a, a tax cut for the wealthy. That this is uh, only the wealthy uh, will uh, will see big tax cuts on this. Uh, when I look at it, I don't see that as being true. Uh, it, it sounds like just another talking point from the left. It, it, is that accurate? Just another talking point from uh, those on the left who don't want tax cuts. Yeah, by and large, that's that's very much the case. You know, we're still looking at the the final details of the plan, but but as it stands, we're going to move millions of taxpayers off of the income tax rolls entirely because, again, as I mentioned before, we're we're doubling that standard deduction. So anyone making less than twenty four thousand, a family making less than twenty four thousand, is going to pay zero in income taxes. These are low income, but often extremely hardworking people that are going to have that burden of taxation completely lifted off their backs. That's that's certainly not a benefit uh, exclusively to the wealthy. And the other thing, of course, that they're harping on is the corporate tax rate reduction, dropping it down from 35% down to 21%. They see that as a big giveaway to corporations on the left. I would note just a few years ago, uh, President Obama was was advocating a 20% cut to the corporate rate. We're about 40% with this plan, 20% rate, because he noted that corporations in this country who employ millions and millions of Americans are increasingly leaving they're going to other countries where they have tax rates that are a small percentage of our current tax rate. They're going to seek out favorable tax jurisdictions, and the result is lower wages, fewer jobs, and less economic growth here in this country. This tax bill is going to reverse that. Uh, let, let's talk about that corporate rate just a, a little bit more. I, I saw a piece that you uh, uh, you were part of, uh, and, and uh, I think it was uh, for Pennsylvania. You were t- targeting uh, the the Pennsylvania folks uh, and, and and talking about the corporate tax rate overall, there are different things that corporations have to look at, and it varies state by state, state income tax and and, and other uh, uh, other issues. For the state of Texas, if we drop the national corporate tax rate to twenty one percent, what does that mean for the state of Texas when when Texas is trying to maybe lower some uh, businesses here into this state? Well, Texas has done such a phenomenal job as a, as a native Marylander. I can tell you I'm pretty jealous of the economic growth that you've had and the tax climate that you guys have created. I know it's not perfect, and um, certainly I'm, I'm sure there are, are nits we can pick there. But the, the, the fact that you have uh, you know, no, no state income tax for, for individuals, um, that you have a very hospitable climate for, for businesses, you've, you've been a magnet. You've, you've taken businesses from, from our backyard and brought them down to Texas to your great credit. The same type of principle is going to work here on an international level. We're going to see businesses not only want to stay in, in the United States, we're going to see businesses move overseas to the United States. We're going to see new businesses decide to form here in our country rather than starting up in China. And this isn't talking points here. Just this week, the Wall Street Journal was reporting on uh, officials in China, Beijing officials saying they need to scramble to fix their tax code to compete with ours because they are already concerned that they're going to lose investment that would otherwise take place in China to the United States if this tax bill passes. And 
Senator Marco Rubio is kind of, I guess, one of the headlines. He's throwing a wrench into the plans right now. I think ultimately he would vote for it if the vote were today. Uh, what is Senator Rubio trying to do, and would it be an improvement to the bill or not? Yes, yeah, Senator Rubio is concerned about the child tax credit, specifically the refundable component of the tax credit. What that means is basically once you zero out your income tax liability, for a lot of people, the child tax credit doesn't do anything for you. If you're a lower income American, then you don't get as much benefit from this doubling of the child tax credit from $1,000 to $2,000. What Rubio wants to do is make that refundable, so actually provide benefits even if you zeroed out your income tax liability, you would still get a portion of that child tax credit. It would uh, it would give you a negative tax implication, um, which is essentially to say you'd get um, uh, an outlay, would be spending from the federal government to these lower income Americans um, rather than just a tax reduction. It certainly makes the tax code uh, more pro-family. It shifts some of the benefits further down the income scale. So both in terms of real-world effects, helping people that are struggling to get by in a tough economy, and also in terms of the political narrative, uh, I think there are certainly a lot of merits to what Senator Rubio is trying to do. And, and I agree with you. I think they are going to be able to come to an agreement. They're working feverishly to do so right now. I think they are going to be able to come to an agreement and get Senator Rubio to a place where he's happy. Uh, Brandon, uh, we're visiting with Brandon Arnold, Executive VP of uh, the National Taxpayers Union. Uh, earlier, you mentioned that there are going to be fewer people, uh, at least in theory, fewer people uh, that will uh, be owing any money uh, b- because of the the rise uh, there of uh, what I think it's, is it twenty four thousand for joint filers. Is that a That's good correct. is that a good thing? Fewer people paying them? because I remember a few years ago when we talked about uh, you know the issue of uh, taxes when half the country wasn't paying anything. It was a bad thing. Is so. Where are we now on this? Is this really good, or or is this going to have some maybe uh, harmful effects later on? Well, in tax policy and in all public policy, there are no absolutes. There are downsides to everything, and certainly people have raised a red flag here that if we we take millions and millions of people off of the income tax rolls entirely, then they're not going to care as much if uh, future congresses and presidents are trying to raise taxes. And I think there's some truth to that, but. But at the end of the day, we're, we're taking people off the tax rolls that are, again, struggling to get by in a not-so-fantastic economy. Um, lifting that burden off of their shoulders, I think, is going to be a good thing. It's a, it's a pro-family, pro-worker move that, uh, that I think makes a lot of sense in, in, a, in a slowly recovering economy like we have currently. Brendan, how can people find out more about uh, not only the current tax reform bill, but also uh, some of the other you know, uh, tax issues that you are covering at the National Taxpayers Union? Yeah, our website is ntu.org. All of our content is there, as well as on our Facebook page. We have a very active Twitter feed. We'd love to not only have you guys check out what we're writing, but also interact with us. Put something in the comment section on Facebook. Reply to our tweets. Retweet them if you like them. Love to hear from your listeners and, and get their viewpoints. Very good. Brandon, appreciate your time today, and uh, have a Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thanks so much for having me.